Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Thursday, October 12th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yale US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the Yale dollar monthly, I mean, even though we have been going down pretty strong last couple of months, I still think this is an uptrend that I personally don't even think is very even close to being over. I think it needs to make a one, two, three, four, five of an, either a one or an A and most likely go up and take out these highs just like that. So let's head down to that weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can see this first move up, which I think is very clearly a trend. I think that this is actually very clearly an A and three ways up for a B, even though it is a higher high. I think it's like a running flat. And I think this move down is possibly a wave C of wave two. We are right at the 38% Fibonacci retracement. It does seem like a very likely area for this to potentially start a brand new uptrend for a wave three and then eventually make a wave four and five like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the day, Daily. We do have to remember that we have CPI inflation data coming out for the dollar today, which is obviously going to affect this in a pretty big way. To me, it looks like an uptrend, like we are now in a wave one, and this wave C of two is actually already over. It does seem like it is very likely that today it is going to go down, but the move down is going to be a crescent like a wave two, and eventually, I think it's going to go up and start a brand new uptrend for the big wave three. So taking it down to that four hour time frame, four hour time frame, we're definitely bouncing out these fib extensions of wave one projected out the bottom of what I think is wave two. I would call this a three, a four and a wave five. So it does look like we have a complete pattern here, probably all part of a big wave one. It does seem pretty likely that today's news will cause it to go down probably, but the move down will be a wave two and potentially it could go up for a wave three later on, maybe in a few trading days. Now the fact that it broke Strutzer, you know, does make me think that it possibly could just keep on going up at the news because I think it is pretty much confirmed that we do have a big turn. So taking it down to that one hour time frame, one hour time frame, like I said, I mean, I think the most likely thing to happen is it's going to start making its wave down and it's going to make a crescent, which should be in three way pattern, like an A, a B and a C, most likely an A, B, C of wave two. This whole move up should be a wave one. And like I said, maybe in a few trading days next week sometime, we'll have the end of a wave two and the continuation of the uptrend for a big wave three. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.